ball doesn't stop. Great momentum there on that shot. All right, now across the line three. So we're going lateral across the three point line. So instead of stepping downhill, we're just focused on getting to space lateral with a one, two cross step. And then I'll go opposite left, right. Same principles apply. But again, it's not that you have to go one, two and jump super high and get the ball super high. It's about being able to go one, two and without any lag, getting the ball up and out with energy. What's up everyone, DJ Sackman here. Thank you for checking out our YouTube. Under this video, you're gonna get access to our seven step shooting transformation program. We cover all the seven steps to shooting the basketball in this program, and we dive into the nuances of each of them. When you know the seven steps and you know how to work off of them, you can give yourself an opportunity to become an elite shooter. That's what this program is all about. So if you enjoy our YouTube videos on shooting, hit the link under this video and you'll get immediate access to the seven step shooting transformation. Let's get it. I won't jump as high as I do in the mid range. I won't really jump as high as I do when I go straight to the rim from three. I essentially go one, two, I get off the ground, I get the ball to my, to my lift point quick and I get it out quick and I have a little bit lower of a set point. So just case in point, it's not the same shot every time. But since I understand my body and the control, I can shoot this shot with confidence. Let's get it. See, ball is moving fast. My body's just essentially catching up to the ball in this segment. But the release is fast. Ball doesn't stop. All right, now. We're going inside to outside with foot replacements. Essentially what that is, just hopping, landing on two and flowing into your shot. The first rep with this, we start inside foot back. I want to dribble step outside so the angle is difficult. You're hopping, you're landing on two. Now the first few, I want you to feel the shot. I want you to shoot it with balance, with good energy, with good power. It shouldn't feel like you're stressed at all shooting this. Once you get really good at that, I want you to try to shoot a late shot clock shot or an end of game cl clock shot where you have to hop, land on two and literally pop off quickly and let it fling out of your hand. So it is gonna be two different types of shots. The first one, I'm saying you have a lot of time, find your balance, find your energy. The second one is more of a late clock situation where you're shooting it. Now, the key, remember, is that you're just understanding your body. You're understanding that flow. I'm not saying this is a shot you're gonna have to take all the time, but it doesn't hurt if you can shoot this shot, especially while you're training, if you can shoot it with power and with energy, it's only going to help you. Let's take a look. See that one? I barely got off the ground. A little slower there. I'm just finding, finding it right now. Notice with those, the ball's moving kind of slow because I'm so focused on getting balanced. Which isn't a bad thing, especially if you got some time. It's definitely not a quick release right now what I'm doing. I'm just finding it. Now with that, I want you to watch the same footwork, different energy off the ground. It's gonna feel very hard at first. And again, it's just something that you can work on and build on. That if you can make this and you feel like you have power, it's gonna make you a very tough shot maker. 